Good morning. Happy Grammar Monday. Last week we talked about the zero conditional. I hope you still remember what it was about. If not, let's review. We use a zero conditional for general truth, like in the sentence, if you mix red and yellow, you get orange. Today's topic is the first conditional. It is called the real present or the future. We use it to talk about the real situations in the present or in the future that can happen as a result of a certain condition. There are three example sentences for this conditional, and I will explain why in a minute. The first sentence is, if I finish my work on time, I will go to the party. What it means is that if I work fast, I will have time to go to the party. Now, here we have a few tricky things to remember. Even though we talk about the future, in the conditional sentence, we don't use the future form will. We use the present simple form. If I finish my work on time, not if I will finish my work on time. No, if I finish my work on time. That is a mistake that many English learners make. So I thought it's worth to accentuate it here. Remember, there is no will after if. The second example sentence for this conditional means the same as the first, but it uses the negative form so that it will be easier for you to understand the third sentence. The sentence is, if I don't finish my work on time, I won't go to the party. Again, no finished work, no party. And again, no future forms after if. The third sentence for this conditional is, unless I finish my work on time, I won't go to the party. It has the same meaning as the first two sentences. Here, instead of if, the conditional word is unless, and it means if not. Remember that unless already has this negative meaning, so you don't need to make it a double negative, unless I don't finish my work. No, unless I finish my work. To sum up, in the first conditional, we have the present simple in the conditional clause, will plus verb in the main clause. The example sentences are, if I finish my work on time, I will go to the party. If I don't finish my work on time, I won't go to the party. And unless I finish my work on time, I won't go to the party. Now let's practice. I will start a sentence and you will finish it. As usual, I will give you five seconds to think. If you don't want to go out, I will cook dinner at home. If I go to the supermarket, I will buy some tomatoes. You will be late for your dinner. If you don't hurry up. That one was tricky. Did you do it correctly? You won't improve your English. If you don't practice. That one is 100% true, by the way. But you already know that. I hope that you will find the time to practice English in any way you can. Have a great day. Until next, happy Grammar Monday. Bye-bye.